Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a little bit about myself. I am a homeschooling mama too. I am a teacher turned homeschool mom and I make videos for new homeschooling parents to teach them about curriculum for encouragement and motivation. Today I have a review. I'm gonna be reviewing um, Crafty the Crafty Classroom Site uh, Word of the Week program and this program was given to me as an exchange for a review as part of the homeschool review crew when you're done watching this video make sure you check the description box below so you can check the 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 link for the blog post where everyone that's reviewing this curriculum and others curriculum from on other curriculums from crafty classroom so make sure you go ahead and check that out because there's some other amazing curriculums in there from the crafty classroom Okay, so this is the side work pro, uh, program. And the, this is program is for the children to learn the uh, some pre primer Dutch words. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I I didn't print out the whole um, curriculum. I didn't have enough ink, and to, you know to be able to do that. But I printed out the ones that I was gonna be using with my child during the review period. And I want to start by saying that this is an amazing product. If your child is uh, learning, is in your know, pre-K or in you know, kindergarten, this is an amazing product to learn sight words. So I'm going to show you how this pro program is set up. The first part, you get the, the curriculum set up and FAQ. This is the list. This is a 40-week program, and this is the list of all the words that your student is going to be uh, learning. Okay, the first it here tells you what are those 20, 220 side words. So you can learn what are side words, why are side words important for children when they're learning how to read. And then it tells you why are the words presented in this order and not alphabetically. Okay, and one of the reasons they do that, they want to show the in, in how frequent they are presented in uh, in use. Okay, so that's why they're not in alphabetical order. How can I use and reuse the resources in this bag? Ask how to use a side word cutout and how to assemble a side word early readers. And I will show you all that in a second. Okay. On the second page, you get the weekly overview. All the lessons for all the words are set up exactly the same with the same activities for your children. And I think this is it is absolutely wonderful for it's for your child gets used to what you're doing and they are familiar every week with what they have to do. All the activities in here are all multi-sensory. You get, you say the words, you make the words, like you can see here in sign language, and I'll talk in a second. Uh, we make them with Play-Doh, we do little bingo dabbers. So there's this multi-sensory. So it tells you exactly what to do. This is from Monday to Thursday. And if you have a child that loves to work, you can do it all in one day. I always say just work for as it works better for your family. But I think it's better to do a couple every day. Some Monday you work over an ASL chart and it teaches the child, you know, how to say the word in sign language and also how to spell it out. Okay, you have a Play Doh mat where your child is going to be making the word in Play Doh, they trace it and they write it. Um, on Tuesday, you do a word search and fish for side words. Wednesday, you do side word dab where you use that, you know, bingo dauber if you have one and you find the word so you can color it. <clears throat> and then I order a side word worksheet where you find it, you write it, you do a little uh, word search, you use a little, um, and here you use a, a Q-tip and paint to make the word. On Thursday, you do a touch and read and an activity page, and I will show you all this in a second. So for this, I just picked and choose the words that my son didn't know. He knew a lot of these words. So we went down through the list, and the ones that he did not know, those are the ones that I printed out and worked with him, okay? So I'm going to show you the lessons and what he did. So like in here, we have the word said. He learned how to say word said in sign language. We read this little story and then he found the word said. And he was able to read a lot of those words. We use letter magnets to make the word said. If you don't have, you know, letter magnets, maybe you can cut them out out of, you know, a paper and, and write, you know, the letters in them. Okay, just use what you have. Um... And also we did some finger spelling. He was so cute doing that. I may have a video. I'm going to put a little video at the end of him, you know, doing some of the activities. I may have one of him doing sign language. Then we did roll the word in Play-Doh, and he loved doing that. Very fine motor. We traced the word, and we wrote the word. Okay. In this page, we did a word search. We practiced writing the word. Tracing, writing. Then we fish for the word here. 
These are really good. I love how how simple the activities are and how much the, the word is presented to them so many times that at the end, like whenever, after we were done with, with a word and we were reading a story or we saw a word somewhere, he will, you know, point out the word. Oh, mommy, look, that's one of our words for the week. So this is great how much exposure they have for that word. The bingo dauber. I don't have it in order here as I show you, but these are the activities. Touch and read. And then the next thing, this last little page, that is, it was a cutout where you, you cut all these things out. And I'm show sure you really quick what was in that last page. So I can read the word and we wrote it. I can read and I can read the word. So I wrote that and he read it for me said you can make it with legos or if you have any type of you know unifix cubes you can make it then we cut the word out the little cards here and we made the word in sign language and in letters okay and we and we put it in here and we also have the little reader okay the reader right here and we practice reading the book and finding the words that we learn Okay, so all the other words, all the other side words are going to look exactly, the activities look exactly the same, okay? The same activity you're gonna keep doing, which I think is great for practice and re repetition. By the end of the week, your child's gonna know the words, okay? So this is an amazing product. Um, I, will put a, I will put a link below also where you can find it from the Crafty Classroom. Okay, so these are the words that we worked through through the review period, and I will continue to work on this, especially the ones that he hasn't learned yet. Okay, so this is an amazing program. I totally, you know, recommend, like I said, for your preschooler or kindergarten and they're still learning side words. Make sure when you're done watching this video, like I said, you can go and watch the, uh, no, watch, go find the, uh, the blog post where you can find everyone's review. Some of them will be videos, some of them will be blog posts for this program and also for other programs from uh, the, the classic class, classroom and other people are reviewing. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Lincoln, what word are you finding? Away. 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 Look. Look at the sky. sky. Look at the sky. Look, Look at the jump. jet. 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 Look at the plane. path. Path. Lincoln, how do you say "look" in sign language? Show me. Look. Good job.